Good morning to one and all present here in this virtual platform. I, Ili Fokon, welcome you all to the One Week Familiarization National Workshop titled Remote Access to Lab, Lab on a Screen. The sudden change in the education system owing to the pandemic calls for changes on our end as teachers and students. Classroom teaching has been taken over by online teaching in case of theory, but practical classes and practices have taken a hit with the sending scenario. There in comes the role of virtual and online laboratory. Most of us are not familiar with the use of virtual or online laboratory, which is soon becoming an essential part of our curriculum. You can teach people everything they need to know. The best you can do is position them where they can find what they need to know, when they need to know it. Yes, it is very rightly said. I too believe this is about time we all become familiar with the functioning of virtual or online laboratory. With this aim in mind, Jorhat Kendriya Mahavidyalaya family has organized this workshop under the aegis of Innovation and Incubation Center, IQSC, Department of Geology, Botany, Chemistry and Physics. The idea of this workshop was conceived under the leadership of Dr. Dulen Saikia's Reverend Principal of Jurhat Kendriya Mahavidyalaya. Added to it, formal collaboration with Department of Physics, Jurhat Engineering College, Department of Electronics, University of Jammu, and Sikkara University, Himachal Pradesh, has, has, has added another dimension. And it will enable us in amalgamating knowledge and experience from such very geographical experience. I hope thus conglomeration of ideas and expertise, amalgamating our knowledge and experience one from us all the participants will be able to gain a lot of knowledge and hence some training on use of technology for imparting practical classes. On this note, I would like to extend our gratitude to our chief guest, Professor Elkin Akshaw, Honorable Vice Chancellor, my colleagues, students, and all the participants. May I please proceed with the first program of inaugural session, the virtual lighting of the land. I would like to request Professor Al Kenatsa, Vice Chancellor, Dibrugar University, to kindly proceed to the virtual lighting of the land. Thank you. Yes, Dr. Elkenath, sir, you can proceed now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
symbolic lighting of the lamp we hope that the light of the dia will prevail over all darkness surrounding us to start our workshop on a spiritual note we also presented a traditional mangala charan it has been curated and presented by pankaj jyoti barua alumni of jkm we offer our sincere gratitude to him Now I would like to request Dr. Dulen Soikia Sir, Principal Jorhat Kendriya Mahavidyalay, and Chairperson of Organizing Committee of this workshop, to kindly deliver the welcome address and enlighten us regarding the nuances of Barswell Laboratory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Over to you, Soikia Sir. Thank you. Mr. Silibadi. Respected as principal of the Jharkhand Kendriya Mahavidyalay, Dr. Ganesh Chandra. Yeah, the convener of this event, all the faculty members of JK, my dear students. It is a great pleasure for me to welcome you all. This morning, to this national familiarization workshop on remote access to lab, live on a screen, organized by Incubation Innovation Center, IQAC, Department of Physics, Department of Chemistry, Department of Botany and Zoology. Jharkhand Kendriya Mahavidyalay, in association with Department of Physics, Jharkhand Engineering College, Jharkhand, Department of Electronics, University of Jammu, and Sikkim University, Himachal Pradesh. A very good morning to one and one and all present here in this virtual place. On this auspicious occasion, I take the opportunity. Welcome you all on behalf of the organizing committee, as well as on behalf of the whole college fraternity, to this national workshop on Lebanon Spring. The essence of great leadership is influence, but not the authority. With this note, I wholeheartedly welcome the chief guest of this. In our session, Professor L. K. Nath, the Honorable Vice Chancellor of the Bihar University, it is a great pleasure to welcome Professor Ananta Krishnan Srinivasan, Professor Department of Physics, IIT Guwahati, and former Dean of Faculty Affairs, IIT Guwahati, the special guest of honor in this inaugural function. We have with us the special guest of honor, 
professor Hiten Hazarika, the register of Dibuga University. Thank you, sir, for your participation in this event. We have with us the guest of honor, Professor Parvin Kalena, head Department of Electronics, University of Zongu. It's my pleasure to welcome you, sir. We have with us the guest of honor, Dr. K. K. Mitsu, Associate Director, Sitkara University, Himachal Pradesh. It is a pleasure for me to welcome you, sir. We have with us the guest of honor, Professor Rakesh Great, Department of Electronics, University of Zomu. It's a great pleasure to welcome you, sir. I sincerely welcome all the respected faculty members of different colleges and universities across the country joining this event. Last but not the least, I welcome all the students to this workshop. You are the future of the country. Thank you one and all for your kind support and participation in this national event. Now the question is that why we are here? What is our objective? We are here to focus on experimental learning on virtual mood. We are struggling to continue the practical classes for the students. And what is the solution? During this pandemic, offline theory classes are being shifted to online classes. But what about the practical classes? We must be able to restore the trust of the students. In spite of this pandemic cities, there's a way in the online to help them for experimental learning. But the question is that, how do we get the lab experiment on my screen? It may be a smartphone screen, laptop screen, desktop screen, or on a tablet screen. The answer is the virtual lab. Virtual lab helps us to conduct science experiments anywhere, anytime, via interactive lab experiments. There are many virtual interactive lab on the web. Some of the most useful and user-friendly virtual labs, both at global context and in Indian context, are Praxi Lab, Labster, PACT, Interactive Lab, Parcel Lab, Energy. It is an initiative of the Ministry of Education, both of the Indian context. OLAB, it is a Ministry of Information, Electronics and Information Technology Initiative, both of India. And then, now let me uh, give an idea about the various Parcel Lab. First, I would like to speak on the Labster. Labster provides students with a virtual version of the lab practical to use beforehand, teaching them the technique, skills, <coughs> processes, protocols, and the underlying theory. The student can learn from trial and error in the virtual lab before reaching the physical lab and thereby <coughs> improving the student's conceptual understanding. Virtual Lab is an initiative of the Ministry of Education under the National Mission on Education for ICT. It can provide students remote access to lab in various disciplines of science and engineering. The these virtual labs would cater to the students at the undergraduate level, postgraduate level, as well as to the research scholars. There are 100 plus virtual labs and 100 plus web enabled experiments. Parcel Lab is contributed by 12 participating institutes IIT Kanpur, IIT Delhi, IIT Guwahati, IIT Rupi, IIT Hyderabad, COE Pune, Omit, Visa Vidyapitam, Dalbag Education Institute, owned by IIT Delhi. The salient features of the Parcel Lab are that it provides theory, procedure, simulator, self evaluation assignment, reference book, and feedback. On the other hand, OLAP hosts experiments in physics, chemistry, 
and biology for students from class 9 to 12. Praxilab provides highly interactive and immersive 3D simulations that mimic real life lab. Now let me give you this idea what these labs are. So I'm going to share one or two slides so that everyone can get an idea of what these labs are doing. Is my experience easily? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, this is PACT interactive uh, simulation. So let's have a, a look on the past, proxy lab. Designed to make it easier for students to understand physics, chemistry, and biology experiments. It recently received a great user experience award from Finances Online a site that specializes in software evaluation. The lecturers and the students can access Praxi Labs to conduct experiments anytime and anywhere with a computer, tablet, or smartphone. The experiments are available in both English and Arabic. Praxi Labs can also be integrated and used with most school or university learning management systems. The physics virtual labs consist of tens of 3D interactive physics experiments, including electricity, magnetism, heat and thermodynamics, electronics, modern physics, waves, and more. As for chemistry virtual labs, they include most of the well-known general, analytical, and organic chemistry experiments. The biology... Labster offers students access to a realistic lab experience that will let them perform experiments and practice their skills in a fun and risk-free learning environment. Students learn with the help of theory pages and quiz questions and experience immersive 3D simulations that visualize live science down to the molecular level. This helps them understand abstract concepts and master difficult techniques. They are challenged with true-to-life scenarios and missions, stimulating their curiosity and highlighting the connection between science and the real world. Virtual labs are not limited by the time and cost restraints of a physical lab, so students can try out cutting-edge lab equipment, learn from their mistakes in a safe environment, and perform experiments not usually possible in a face-to-face -face class. So this is just a glimpse of the virtual lab. Uh, in this workshop, uh, we'll use proxy lab, and then uh, VLAB, OLAB, and FAT lab. So with this work, I once again want to welcome you all uh, to this uh, one-week national workshop on familiarization of uh, ELAB, OLAB, and VLAB. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Dulian Sarkia, sir. You have provided some very imperative insights on virtual lab and the need of time. Yes, sir, 
it is the time to know about world famous virtual labs like praxi lab labster 3d lab etc so praxi lab provides students with an immersive and interactive 3d simulation of a realistic lab and i think from your presentation everyone present here is getting able to have an idea of virtual lab thank you sir thank you so much Next in our agenda, we have inaugural address by our chief guest, Professor Elkenat Sir, Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dibrugar University. I am honored to introduce Professor Elkenat Sir, Honorable Vice Chancellor of Dibrugar University, to all the participants of this workshop. Professor Nath Sir had a brilliant academic career after obtaining his PhD from Jadavpur University in Pharmaceutical Sciences. He became the founder of founder HOD of Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Dibrugar University. He also served as principal Himalaya Pharmacy Institute, Sikkim, Dean of School of Engineering and Science, Dibrugar University, member of AICTE and member of expert committee of PCI for over two decades. Professor Nath sir, in addition to being an academician for over 30 years, also devoted his energy towards research work and published close to 100 research papers and review articles. His area of interest include pharmaceutics, novel drug delivery system, formulation development. Once again, I welcome you, sir, to our workshop. Sir, may I now request you to deliver your speech? It is your time. You can proceed now, sir. Thank you, Dr. Pokan. Yes, sir. Am I audible to everybody? Yes, sir. Yes. Good morning to everybody who are attending this workshop on remote access to laboratory. Laboratory on a screen organized by Jorhat Kendya Mahavid Dalai in association with Jorhat Engineering College, University of Jammu, and Sitkara University, Himachal Pradesh. Respected chairperson of the workshop, Dr. Dulan Saikia, Principal JKM College, special guest of honor, Professor. A. Srinivasan, IIT Guwahati, Professor Jitan Hazurika, Registrar Dibugar University, Guest of Honor, Professor P. K. Lahana, and Professor Rakesh Bait, University of Jammu, Dr. K. K. Mishra, Sitkara University, respected invited speakers of the workshop, all the members of the organizing committee and participants from various institutions attending this online workshop. In fact, the beauty of science lies in that science is based on facts rather than assumptions and facts are validated by experiments. To develop the scientific temperament, to understand the fundamentals of science, to ignite the urge to learn science, to sharpen the scientific skill, one requires exposure to a laboratory where students can appreciate and validate the theories through experiments and learning of science and engineering without laboratory is meaningless. However, in a country like India with 1.39 million billion populations, over 900 universities, 40,000 colleges, 
1.4 million schools with such a heterogeneous figure. One cannot think of setting up a fully equipped laboratory for its educational institutions. Not only the expense of purchasing laboratory equipment and instruments, chemicals, glasswares, which are in high cost, the recurring expenses are also quite high. Besides this, the appointment of skilled laboratory technicians, instructors, and maintaining all safety protocols also add up to the overall cost and maintenance complication. All these have really made science education in India a challenging task. As if the these problems were not enough. Then came the global pandemic in the form of the COVID virus or coronavirus. All resources and facilities become useless as educational institutes were declared closed for month after month. People were left with no other option to adopt digital technologies to take the classroom into everybody's home. Online classes, e-study materials, videos, audio materials somehow came to rescue the teaching learning process. Although the theory parts were to a certain extent covered through these means, the laboratory sessions were completely dumped by the majority of the educational institutions and evaluation of laboratory courses was done rather more unscientific. Even if we excuse the evaluation process, how can we justify the fact that students were awarded the degree or promoted to the next higher courses without learning the experiments and hence compromising on their knowledge and skill? Unfortunately, this has happened primarily because of the lack of information fear of adopting new technologies, unwillingness to step from our traditional method, and lack of preparedness to cope with an unseen crisis like COVID pandemic. During the last five years, the internet coverage has increased speed of internet has gone up. The tariff for internet has gone down alongside the ever increasing penetration of smartphone, tablets, and PCs. This has opened new opportunities and possibilities for web-based technology, which could not have been possible 10 years back. One of the most significant and revolutionary, revolutionary innovation in the field of educational technology is the advent of the virtual laboratory. A virtual lab provides a close to the real environment of a laboratory by replicating the experiments through high quality graphics and simulation to perform the experiments on the PC or smartphone. It doesn't require the actual setup of the laboratory, nor do expensive instruments. The user can perform the experiments from the safety and convenient place of his or her home and time. 
This has not only addressed the issues of expenses associated with a well-equipped laboratory, but also facilitated the user with much more flexibility and option to perform the variety of experiments on the smartphone or PC as per the curriculum or interest of the student. Virtual labs allow remote access to the lab so that the user can carry out the experiments without physically doing an experiments in the traditional brick and mortar laboratory. Besides this, the virtual laboratories are most of the virtual Sir, you are mute. <laughs> Sir, please kindly unmute yourself. Is it all right? Yes, sir. Besides this, the virtual laboratories are free, though some are some of our some of them pay. Available twenty four. So again, you are muted. The system is not consistent. We should have been otherwise not possible to own by school or small institutions. There are many platforms or software available which enable the user to perform experiments virtually on computer or smartphones. Some require paid license while some are free. Lifestyle paid simulations, Praxi Lab, Physics Lab, Beaker, Live, Molecular Benchwork, Multisim, Virtual Lab, O Lab. These are some of the popular platforms. Out of these, some are subject specific platforms. While some provide a wide range of experiments belonging to various branches of science and engineering. The virtual lab is an initiative of government of India. And OLAB is also free and funded by government of India. Most of these are very realistic and user feels as if he or she is performing the experiment in real. They provide a video game like interface that attack They provide video game like interface that attack young students to explore the various experiments. They are certainly going to be loved by the students and making the learning fun and engaging. In research also, the simulation experiments can be carried out by using the remote login. And this has contributed to the philosophy of sharing high-end facilities with fellow researchers, resulting in a wider utilization of resources. In India, the pilot phase of the virtual lab project was started in April 2009. Approximately 20 labs were developed as a proof of concept. The main phase began in April 2010. And this has been operational since February 2012, when it was dedicated to the nation by Kapil Sibal, the then Minister of Human Resource Development. 
it is now functioning as an initiative of ministry of education under the national mission of education through ICT. The six IITs, Kharagpur, Bombay, Delhi, Kanpur, Guwahati, Roorkee, Hyderabad, and Amrita Vishwa Vidyapitham, Dialbag Educational Institute, NIT Shrashkal, and College of Engineering, Pune, have these web-based programs including aesthetic and remotely triggered virtual labs. These labs, virtual labs, do not require any additional infrastructural setup for conducting the experiment. One computer terminal with broadband internet connectivity is all that is needed to perform the experiments remotely. Static lab experiments are explained using written material, predefined interactive simulations, and live experiments video. A student can test themselves with self-assessment quizzes and practical assignments. These remotely triggered labs allow a student to perform experiments in real time using server-based graphics. set up via internet, set up via internet. The output of the experiments is communicated back to the student over the internet in real time and can be saved as a file or taken print out of the result to be used for assessment and grading. Virtual labs offer experiments covering broad areas like electronic and communication engineering, computer science and engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, biotechnology, biomedical engineering, civil engineering, physical science, and chemical science. In fact, this virtual lab is a boon not only for the students and researchers, it is also immensely benefiting the teachers and facilitators by enabling them to introduce the students to the complex concept of science and engineering by performing experimental demonstrations. Besides this, the virtual labs offer a complete comprehensive knowledge by providing all relevant information like theory, procedure, demo video, suggested readings, and integration with NPTEL. There are over 120 virtual labs developed so far with target of 500 virtual labs in India. Another great platform for learning science, maths, and English from class 9 to class 12 is the OLEB. OLEB is based on the idea that lab experiments can be taught using the internet more efficiently and less expensive. OLEB can also be made available to the students with no access to physical lab or where equipment is not available, owing to being scarce or costly. This help them complete with students in better equipped schools and bridges the digital divide and graphical distance, sorry, geographical distance. The experiments can be assessed anytime, anywhere, overcoming the constraints on time, having access to physical lab for only a short period of time. The OLAB is an educational initiative pioneered by the Center for Research in Advanced Technology for Education, 
at Amrita Vishwa Vidyapitham in partnership with Center for Development of Advanced Computing, CDSC, Mumbai. Under a research grant from the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India. The lab hosts experiments in physics, chemistry, and biology science, biological science, which are developed by Amita Vidyapitham for the students from class 9 to 12. The mathematics and English lessons are developed by CDAC Mumbai. Currently, the OLAB offers content assigned to NCRT, CBSE, and state boards levels. Physics, Chemistry, Biology lab from class 9 to 12, and English and Maths, Mathematics lessons for class 9 and 10. They offer interactive simulations animations and lab videos. The concept and understanding of the experiments. The ability to perform, record and learn experiments anywhere, anytime. And individualize practice in all areas of experimentation. Thus the use of virtual lab platform is a necessity and need of power. We being the facilitator cannot detach ourselves from the technologies which are essential for developing knowledge and developing skill of our students. Considering the present scenario where there is a complete uncertainty regarding the physical attendance of a student in the classroom and laboratory, we must equip, equip ourselves with the tools and technologies of the virtual laboratories so that the same can be incorporated at the earliest. If we do not adopt the new technologies into our teaching learning system, the students will remain deprived of what they deserve to learn and lead to the development of human resources, which will be a half equipped or unpreparedness, unprepared to accept the new age challenges in their future. Therefore, it is high time that Educational Institute trains their teachers to make use of the benefits of facilities like VLAB and OLAB so that knowledge transferred to students is never compromised. I do not want to make it lengthy. Quite a large, large number of expert members have been invited by the organizers to speak on the topic. And speakers who have wide exposures to the application of these online laboratories will speak on it thoroughly. And I believe our participants will be much benefited out of those lectures. At last, but not the least, I appreciate the organizers for arranging such, such important online workshop during this period of COVID-19 pandemic, which is considered to be the need of the hour for the students and faculty members. With this, I formally declare that the workshop is inaugurated and I wish every success of the workshop. Thank all of you attending on this online inauguration program. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We definitely agree with all that you have talked about. You have very aptly delivered it. You are muted. Sorry, 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 sir. Thank you, sir. We definitely agree with all that you have talked about. 
you have very aptly delivered on the importance of lab in scientific studies and how without including it, these studies are practically impossible. Needless to say, partial lab and OLAB have been severe. Sir, you have nicely highlighted on challenges and benefits of virtual lab and OLAB. We owe our gratitude, sir, for being present in the inaugural session and sparing your valuable time and adding color to the inaugural session. Thank you, sir. Once again, thank you. Next up is the speech by special guest of honor, Professor A. Srinivasan, sir. I now ask my colleague and coordinator, Mrs. Pignati Hazurika, to introduce him. Thank you, madam. Good morning, everyone, present in the inaugural session on this virtual platform. It is a moment of great pleasure for us to welcome Professor Anantakrishnan Srinivasan, sir, Professor, Department of Physics, IIT Guwahati, and former Dean of Faculty Affairs, IIT Guwahati, as our special guest of honor for the inaugural session today. It's a proud privilege for me to introduce him. Professor Srinivasan, sir, has many qualifications in his. He did his graduation in physics, post graduation in physics, as well as in engineering, and holds the PhD degree in physics. Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, 1992. He was awarded Scientist Research Award in Physics for the year 1996 from Department of Atomic Energy, Ghost of India. He has a research and academic experience as doctoral research associate, visiting of reader, assistant professor, associate professor in many national and international institutes. He is also associated with many professional bodies. His specialized area of research includes glasses, glass ceramics, and polymer composites, electronic, optical, and biomedical applications, nanostructured magnetic and semiconductor materials, aluminum alloys, etc. He is appreciated for his well-known research publications in many national and international journals. We are honored to have such an eminent personality amongst us. May I now request, sir, to please address the gathering. Sir, it's so- Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your kind introduction. Uh, uh, Professor Nath and my esteemed colleagues present here, uh, very good morning to all of you. Uh, thanks for the nice introduction, but uh, we are all here as teachers rather than uh, researchers. And uh, so, and we are all battling uh, the fact that uh, how to kind of uh, give a laboratory uh, training to our students. Uh, if you look at the philosophy, and in fact, I'm very happy that uh, Jorat Kedri Vidalaya is taking this particular uh, uh, attempt because I have not seen anybody else attending this. Uh, I mean, kind of, uh, no, trying to talk about uh, online uh, laboratory courses. This is very important. Some of people have been moving away from this particular aspect, uh, knowing very well that they have to ultimately uh, teach people online, even the laboratory courses. Uh, when the pandemic started uh, last year, sometime around in the uh, March or so, when we hit us, uh, really hit us, we actually were almost in the verge of completing that semester. So we didn't have much problem of completing whatever is left and we moved on. And the next semester, most of us kind of, you know, postponed our laboratory courses to the next semester, hoping that the pandemic will go away. Now we know that the pandemic is going to be there with us for some more time. And then we have to teach the students the fineries of handling instruments and doing experimentation as teachers. Because, you know, uh, without uh, uh, a laboratory course, uh, um, a person is not actually prepared in any branch of science, especially, or even English or uh, other, other areas like psychiatry and things like that. All these uh, courses require uh, a lot of uh, hands-on experience where actually the students are kind of allowed to look at uh, how actually the theoretical aspects of what they are learned in the theoretical courses transform into an experimental realistic factors. So in that sense, uh, uh, the 
laboratory courses are essential. And uh, when you look at the philosophy of a lab, uh, what is actually in the, in, in the lab? In fact, if you see most of our uh, students, most of them do very well in the labs compared to the theory courses. In fact, we hardly find many students failing in laboratory courses because that's when actually they get a chance to try out whatever they learned. And most students have this curiosity inbuilt, so they want to try doing or trying out what they learned theoretically when they actually do the experiments. And that's what actually is very important and that actually makes them understand their theory very well. That's why laboratory courses are very essential. In fact, this has been very nicely pointed out Professor Nath and I am thankful to him for that. Uh, in fact, without uh, a laboratory training, uh, education is not going to be complete, especially for any science student. So now uh, the pandemic has arrived and is going to be there with us. And where do we stand right now? Uh, even institutions like ours, uh, where we have uh, moved on to online, uh, IITs, NITs, uh, we are trying many things. So what are we trying? Uh, in the, we, we are still uh, teaching online laboratory courses also. Uh, but, you know, in, a, in, a, in its own funny way, you know. Uh, so-called, you know, it's the semi-online. What I mean by that is, uh, uh, we exactly we uh, create uh, demonstrations, videos of the experiments that we are going to uh, teach them. Talk about the theory, prepare PPTs, and then we uh, show the students what is the idea behind the experiment. Then actually, we do the experiment and show them how to do the experiment. Okay, and then what we do is that we give them give them the data that we have collected so that they can look at the experimental data and then do the analysis of the data and then they can submit the report. This, uh, in my opinion, as uh, Professor Nath pointed